Hello, Peel Places. Adam here, your favorite autistic person. And today we're playing Magical Warrior Diamond Heart. This is so a manly game, right? Looks to be manly, doesn't it? I'm being facetious. It doesn't look manly in the slightest. Today we are playing it. So, uh, yeah. The, I've already gone through some of this game with Rose. We ended up not recording that because she introduced herself as a flower to your heart. And, um... I don't think that was a good idea. I don't care if I came up with it. Alright, let's begin. I love the sound effects, oh my god. I don't know if you can hear them, but... Diana drew her sword almost immediately. Who's there? Show yourself. Oh, Diana, is that any way to greet an old friend? A somewhat familiar voice rang through the hall, and all color drained from Diana's face. Drew's... Oh my god, over-sexualized female character. Okay, you can tell, because you can tell she's evil because she's sexualized. Because that's how you tell that people, women are evil. They, they, that's, that's how they're evil. That's how you tell. I'm joking, of course, that's not actually. I'm a potato! Hmm, still hiding behind your servants, Rosalia. She stroked the princess's face. I hope she's gay. Wait, she, if she's evil and gay, would that make her a succubus? No, succubuses are straight. Well, I want gay people. I want gay people. I, I, I want the gay people. Yes, that makes perfect sense. I don't want the fuck are you talking about. Her hands were ice cold and she sent chills down the princess's spine. Don't touch her. You don't have to treat me so coldly, Diana. After all, aren't we friends? Princess, run away. Josie reached into her pocket and pulled out what looks like two gemstones. And her left, finally beautiful black gemstone, radiating chili aura. Ooh, I love her eyes. And you can't tell who because they're all female, but the, the evil ones. I like the evil ones' eyes. In her right was a heart shaped stone. Instead of shining beautifully, it was clouded over and had a sad, faint glow. Run away now! May the darkness into your, in your heart go wild. Nightmare. Diana charged to attack, just barely managing to put up a decent fight. Kwa kia ha ha ha? Is that, is that how you say that? Kia ha ha ha? Is that supposed to be mwa ha ha ha, but with like kia? That's normal. Go on, princess, why not fight? Show us those amazing powers of yours. Or else your precious knight will suffer. Don't listen to her, your majesty. It'll be fine. I'll, it'll be fine. I'll, I'll be fine. Hurry up and escape. Are you just gonna run away and leave her behind to die? Just like you allowed the rest of your people to die? Hurry. You're weak. Useless. You can't save anyone. Those worlds swirled. Those, wor those words swirled around in her mind. Wahahaha. Why doesn't she just say wahahaha like a decent, normal evil monster? You can't do anything, can you? Rosaline. Rosalie, 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 Rosa, 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 person. Rose is a person. Don't listen to her. Yeah. Diana, don't hurt her anymore. It's your fault, you know. If you have this power to save her, all you need to do is. Key up. Wake up. Valerie, wake up. Ooh, I hope she's reincarnated. That'd be great. Five more minutes, Mama. Not five more minutes, it's already eight o'clock, you're gonna be late. Wake. Wait, what? I shoot out of the bed and check the clock. Did I seriously sleep through my alarm? I scrambled to the ba bathroom to wash up. Ooh, American. Quickly throw on my wrinkled uniform. I'm leaving, Mama. Oh my god, I think this is her reincarnate. Is this gonna be like Sailor Moon? I hope this is gonna be like Sailor Moon. That'll be beautiful if it's like Sailor Moon. We'd at least take something to eat. The shining crystal of love and hope, Diamond is reborn. This is a child's game and I love it. I made it pant 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 barely. Ah, uh, there she is, the tardy queen. I'm starving. I pull up on town to my between Ethan and Sophia. I love how we have at least the token male character. That's that's brilliant. Oh, he has red eyes, kind of like that evil person. I wonder if there's a connection. There's not. There's, there's, there's no connection. You live in a bakery, though. 
I forgot. <laughs> you forgot your house in a is a bread factory. You know what I mean. Yawn. I really had a weird dream too. She even has a Sailor Moon hair, you'll see in a sec. What kind of dream? I've been reading up on those kinds of things lately. Yeah, this is so inspired by Sailor Moon, it's beautiful. But it's not like copying Sailor Moon, it's just kinda like, yo, Sailor Moon, it's kinda nice of you that you, uh, you did this thing. We're gonna do a similar thing, okay? Why do people watch my videos? You can click away now, it's fucking shit. It was more like a nightmare, actually. <laughs> See, she has the Sailor Moon pony buns things. Meatball head, whatever. <laughs> Do you know that some people believe that dreams might have mystical powers? They might be able to predict the future or tell you about a past life? Ooh, that's not on the nose at all! <laughs> Most likely, it was just a manifestation of your current thoughts and worries. For example, nightmares represent the things you fear the most. For kids, they're usually about general monsters, boogeyman, and stuff like that. But as you get older, you might begin to have nightmares about your job or relationship problems. Something, sometimes examining your dreams is really useful. Sometimes something could be stressing you out and you won't even know what it is. Oh, I know what I, it is for me. It's my video game company. I honestly can't remember what my dream was about. just the feeling. It was really scary, but it also felt really weird. I didn't have th that really real feeling nightmares usually have. It felt more like I was watching a movie or something. <gasps> me too! Maybe because I was watching it. Hmm... Three of us chatter away the rest of the class. That's of course why their sprites disappeared. Lessons are boring as ever. History, science. I sound so- like, I have a highish feminine voice already, but I sound like my voice does not work for these female games. <laughs> By the third period, the only thing keeping me awake is the feeling like I was being punched in the gut except with math. I don't remember a single thing, which was anything new, but the time is- but this time it can't- This time? It's because I can't think of anything except for that weird dream I had last night. I can't shake the feeling it like it's really important. But no matter how hard I try, I can't recall anything except for this dull aching in my heart. I pack up my things and get ready to leave. Valerie, I jump a little and reluctantly go to the teacher's desk. Yes. She must have noticed the look of pure terror on my face because her tone quickly is weirdly gentle. We need to talk about your grades. Shit. Oh, maybe it's not a kid's game. The last exam was not your best. This is it. I'm in for a lecture for the first time. I didn't even eat this morning, and if it goes on too long, I'll miss lunch. I know you could do better than this, Valerie. This shows up my last exam, which is crumpled mess. I think I'm halfway asleep, though. Um, there is a little jewel stain on it. <laughs> okay, well, we know what kind of student she is. Most of it's completely blank, and what I filled in was sloppier than usual. Is unacceptable. Unacceptable! I can't do lemon grab. I apologize for that. She then goes on about how I need to apply myself more. Some nonsense about how she believes in my abilities and something about weekend classes and making up credits. But I stop paying attention because I'm so hungry. <laughs> yes, hello Serena. How are you today, you soggy? After what feels like hours, I'm finally set free. This period isn't over yet, so I bet I can still get something else to eat if I hurry. I shut the door. I love the art in this game. Can I just stress that it's fucking beautiful? It's it's pure brilliance. I love it so much. I found myself hitting the cold hard floor. Ow. I love how expressive she is. I feel for a brief moment confusion before I realize I slammed into someone else. Ooh, I hope they're gay. I'm so sorry. Oh, it, that's a boy? Yay, to redefine gender roles. He scrambles to his feet, then helps me up as well. That's when I notice how gorgeous he is. <laughs> He's got smooth skin like a doll and long, shiny blonde hair. He's wearing some sort of sweet smelling perfume. I never met anyone who smells so pleasant. Okay, you're so not creepy. I look away embarrassed when I realize I've been staring. I I'm sorry, I guess they say no running in the halls for a reason. No way, it's my fault. I wasn't paying attention. Ah! What? Your hair is so cute! <laughs> this game is beautiful, what are you talking about? 
The smell is so warm and steady and I can't feel my heart melting a little bit. It looks so soft too, can I touch it? Um, no. <laughs> That's a racist microaggression, my friend. He looks so disappointed. I almost feel a bit bad now. I'm sure there was laws against upsetting people as beautiful as he is. <laughs> However, you quickly gets over it. Oh, fine. Maybe next time you'll let me... Won't you? W what? Oh, shoot. I have to go. See you, um... Valerie Amarantz. See you, Valerie. My name is Zach... 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 White people names. Zachary Pelletier. I'll fix you up. Really cute, okay? Zachary skips away before I had a chance to protest. He's probably gay. And I'm not saying that because all gay people like them. I'm saying that because he's probably coded gay. I recognize that name. I think that's one of Ethan's friends' name. And he's one of those weird, angst, artsy guys, I guess. But Ethan never mentioned he was so... Dot, 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 dot. Pretty, dot, 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 dot. I can feel my face heat up. I think I should pay better attention to Ethan's friends from now on. <laughs> What am I thinking? I'm gonna miss lunch. I hurry off to meet my friends for lunch. Wait, again, Miss Amaranth. I take a seat with my friends and immediately start digging in. What happened? I got lectured by my math teacher. My last test was a complete disaster. What? Oh yeah, Ethan. I ran into one of your friends from the way earlier. Zachary, his name is? Why didn't you mention that he was totally gorgeous? You have such pretty friends and I never met them? You're holding out on me, boy? Sorry, Val, I have to protect them. You probably eat them alive. <laughs> Seriously, though, look at her eyes. Her eyes are just, she's, she's, she's talking like he's a dish to be eaten. He's in my art class. He's flashy and loud and he's a huge fashionista. Not like normal people trendy, he's more like those super nerd sci-fi fans, except with shoes and ribbons and designer prices. Ethan, you literally have no right to be calling anyone a super nerd. <laughs> As a small cast revenge, he gobbles down the rest of my dessert. Hey! Anyways, he's a cool guy, but completely exhausting. I feel like we'll learn this when we play the game. <laughs> I like him, he's funny and pleasant and always smells nice. So what are you going to do, Val? About your grades, I mean. I sigh. I feel a little bit of happiness escape. I was hoping we'd get past the topic. Nothing slips past Sophie. She's totally strict, not just about her own grades, but Maya and Ethan's, too. It's exhausting, but I guess it's not a bad thing. One of us has to be the reliable one. Why don't you just ask your tutor for you? Well, I did once. It didn't end well. What happened? That is none of your business. What? I got an idea. Come to the student council room before you go home. Oh, you gonna ask at, you gonna ask Liam? You mean Liam Furrow? I thought you hated his guts, Sophie. I do not hate him. We're just not friends. Our relationship is strictly a professional one. Which is basically your way of saying you can't stand the guy. Regardless of how I feel about him, I can admit he'd make a decent tutor. He's a senior and he's pretty smart. He's not pretty smart, he's a genius. That I already know. Everyone knows. He's a prodigy who's never gotten anything less than perfect in anything. He's got the top scores in the entire state, and apparently he's also super wealthy. His whole family is all doctors and lawyers and stuff. Hopefully he realizes he owes me since I've been doing his share of the student council work. We'll figure something out. Alright, well, I'm gonna pause the game here. Uh, because I am tired, young, and autistic. And uh, I shall see you all later.